Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code challenge day by day. In day 16, we're learning how to work with exceptions in our code and how to print custom error messages when we raise exceptions. Exceptions are raised when your code tries to perform an action but was unsuccessful. This means that something unexpected happened in your code. In order to prevent your application from crashing at this point, you should write exception handlers to catch these exceptions. A common pattern used here is the try catch finally block. In the try section, you can write code that could possibly result in exceptions being thrown. If your program cannot complete the code inside a try block, it will raise an exception and handle that in the catch block. The catch block is only executed if an exception is raised in your try block. The finally block always executes even if there is no exception raised. One example where you might use a try catch finally block is when reading files from the disk in your application. You can try to open a file, read it, and do something. If there was an error during the try block, we will handle it in the catch. And finally, regardless of whether there was an error in the try block, we should always close the file when we're done reading it. So we'll do that in the finally section. So for today's task, we will read a string s and print its integer value. If s cannot be converted to an integer, we will print bad string. Let's look at the examples to better understand what we need to do. In example case 0, we have an input string of 3 and print an integer of 3. But in example case 1, we have an input string of za. But since za cannot be converted to an integer, we need to print bad string. So we will try to convert our input s to an integer value by using integer conversion then we will print the value. We know that not all strings can be converted to integers, so we will catch invalid errors and print bad string instead. Now that we understand the problem and know our approach, let's dive into the code. Let's start by coding this as if there were no errors. We will convert our input string s to an integer and print its value. When we test our solution, we see that for some values, the integer value is printed, but for others, we get a runtime error. Python will throw a value error when we try to convert za to an integer. You can read the stack trace here and see what type of exception was raised. By getting our hands dirty with some test cases, we now know that initializing an integer with a string can result in a value error being thrown. We need to put our code in a try block and catch the value error. When the value error is thrown, we will print bad string. The keyword for catch in Python is accept, so we will use that instead of catch. All right, let's test our solution again. Looks good. Let's submit it and see how we did. Great, we passed all the cases. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed the previous video, please click here to review it or click here to view the full Hacker Rank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you later.